All right, so we're cutting these things down in strips because why? Damn, paper is expensive. Okay. And just so we can create multiple test strips. Testing, yeah. Um, and then I got to cut. So this is the magenta that I just cut right now. Yeah. And then the yellow one. Yeah, we're going to mm -hmm. get the yellow one. And we got, we're now at 320 for 90. And we're going to do And our pressure, pressure, yeah, our pressure is going to overload. So pressure set at zero, but we're going to. Well, because it's, it's not down. Yeah, it's not down. So there you go. All right, so we're going to pause again. So I cut the yellow into a strip. Yeah, so we just made it magenta. strips. Yellow's on the bottom side. We're just lining up. And then the other question that I have is, how do you clean off this white deck on the pad? Okay, I do see some stuff. Yeah, it's pretty much one of the way around because the paper, the sample packet that we bought, um, the paper is smaller than the other paper. So the so yellow, yellow is a smaller is sheet. smaller sheet than the magenta. Oh, okay, cool. You have a pretty good. Okay, I'll right, flip it. Yellow side down. Did you adjust the pressure yet? Uh, nope. So we're on eight. Oops. <laughs> Overload. Okay. Sticks to every once in a while. Sticks. Every time. Yeah, how do we make it not do that? Okay. And it's hot. And it's hot. Cool. Okay, so, oh shoot. Yellow side down? Yep, yellow side down. <clears throat> yellow side down. Let's get it. Here we go, 90 seconds, 320. Overload. All right, we'll pause it. See you back in a bit. All right, here we go. We're just about done. We're going to get ready. And burn our fingers. I'm not. We're going to wait five seconds after we do it. So that's three, four, and five. I've had overloaded pressure. Oh, so much for the self weeding. Damn it. Let me portray it how much far enough. So I got some of it, right? Mm, yeah, we we'll see now you've got little holes. Little speckles. Okay. Stuff. So the pressure seemed good. <laughs> I mean we can even go higher on the pressure, you think, right? Higher pressure. Well, I've seen other ones where so you were told 120 seconds. I was on Facebook and the other folks said, oh gosh, I have to go through my screenshots. Yeah. All right, so we'll try it again, see what's up. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can zoom in, but yeah, there's stuff missing. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. We'll try it again. All right, so I trimmed it just a little bit. So this stuff right here, it's all good. It looks good, clean, and then... I'm just curious as to see what it looks like since it kind of mirrored, quote-unquote, okay. Yeah, so I, I trimmed it right here to see if we can uh, get that other white stuff off so it can be bare looking like that stuff right here. I'm trying to make all around, make it look like that. So I got to trim just a little bit more off this edge. Now we're going to just put it on a shirt just to test it. It's going to be geeked up looking. It's all good. We're going to try it out though. So, all right. Yeah, we'll be back. All right. So we got a test t-shirt. We got our trimmed out one little sheet. Um, and it, it is geeked up. We know it's going to not be perfect and that's okay. We're just trying this out. So let's do it. Five seconds um, is what is told on the video. But I think we're going to go... Just maybe, because we've had to adjust the Yeah, we're adjusting temps and time. So we're going to go... So I'm going to go seven seconds 
at 320. So seven seconds, all right, so let's do it. That's seven. Yep. <laughs> and it's cold peel, so we'll uh, let it cool off and be right back. Off to the side. So he's got so his. Once the wall is we cold, got ours. Got to be a complete cold peel. Okay, okay? so cold so peel. You're a whole bunch of shirts, got like it. 20 shirts, just set them on top of each other, and then come back and peel it off. Once it's completely cold, you just take the transfer mm -hmm. and rip, rip it, it off. off. So look at how vibrant the colors vibrant are. Vibrant colors. All right, let's do it. Rip it off. Vibrant colors. Whip it. Whip it. Right. Rip it or whip it. Rip it. Rip All right, let's do it. It's three, two, one. Hold on, I gotta grab it. Three, two. I'm excited. Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> Where's your vibrant colors? Where's your white? Where's the white? Uh oh. What happened, yo? I thought it was gonna be white well, in that's between. That's pink. That's not red. Oh. Well, okay. So let's not be picky yet. Even though it's not the color we wanted, but now let's seal. Right. Yeah. Okay. So give me that other fuzzy mat. Okay, so yeah, that was, and we knew that that was gonna happen. Yeah, those holes again, it, it just we had the just we the had the, the other was. the other spot right here too where we didn't trim perfectly. Um, but again, the self weeding it didn't weed itself properly, so that's a lie so far. All right, so we got the what is this sealer? Wow, sealer something, something like that. Wow. All right, and we're just gonna put it in thirty seconds or twenty five seconds. She she marked. At 320. And we'll be right back. Again. Alright, so we got it sealed. Now we're going to see that stretchability. I'm still confused on why the flag went black and whatever else. But alright. It was just part of it. And you could tell, like, there's. Yeah, there you go. You can see the difference. And then pink, there's a line that's all we put on there. Is that so? All right. It's 500 time use, they say. All right, so pop that thing, pop it, stretch it, make it rip. Let's see. It's upside down on the t shirt. I'm kind of pouring back to it, huh? Mm -hmm. It's kind of an off now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's lopsided now. Looks like a waving flag. But then to the how full of just color Ink that is, you have yeah. as well, you're going to get that paper feel regardless. Nah, this feels way different though, but... You see, you still got... Mm -hmm. The difference in color. So now, if you have this black is supposed to be white, yeah, you might have. I mean, it might not show, but now look at if you got a, a brighter red on here. This is pink. This is supposed to be red. Yeah. Same with that lettering. You're gonna have white coming through. But I mean, again, people don't walk around with their shirt stretched out like this either. Yeah. It stretches out when you take it off when somebody yanks on your shirt. Um, okay. All right. So. Uh... Yeah, we're, I think we're going to post this up and see what's up. See if uh, Joseph can troubleshoot for us a little Just bit more. Figure out, too, the white. Because when we upload the picture, you, we do have the white here. Because yeah. it is the California. supposed to be the California flag. So all this black is supposed to be white. But then the minute that we choose the paper on the settings of the program. Yeah, it pops over to, to black. So, yeah, here's, here's that. Which... The and video kind of states the tutorial thing that they have states that yep that's what happens it converts it to a black color to because it doesn't show white so that's literally what that flag was supposed to look like just california flag with different stuff there white but our flag came out black so yeah uh help us out give us some answers if you guys got any tips let us know what's going on because we're doing something weird all right thanks Bye.